For all his prolific exploits on the battlefront, it remains baffling that James Kazini, a man who quickly rose from the rank of captain to head the army, was slain under such awkward circumstances. For a less educated man who tried to match the more elite senior army officers, Kazini leaves behind a legacy of gallantry and bravery in his spell as a career soldier. As a commander, Kazini blended both orthodox and unconventional methods of fighting to annihilate the enemy, but his overzealousness was his shortcoming. The Kisangani battles between Rwanda and Uganda's army in the Democratic Republic of Congo is perhaps his worst tactical blunder in his military career. But the contradiction of his ethos at various points in his life have however created the complex character of a man on one hand whose abrasive style of work earned him enemies in the army, but his philanthropic heart won him many friends. Patriot, he was a nationalist. He participated in the liberation struggle. Very, very brave person. And, uh, that's why he, ran, he moved to, from a rank of a sergeant, isn't it, to a major general. He has served the people of Uganda uh, to his best. This is a person who joined uh, the military uh, for the liberation of the country in 1979. By the time of his death, Kazini found himself captive of the very regime that propelled him to the top. Here is a brief fact file about Kazini. In 1984, Kazini joined the NRA after defecting from Moses Ali's Uganda National Rescue Front. In 1987, he became commissioned officer at the rank of captain. In 1989, he was promoted to major and appointed commander of the military police. In 1991, he was promoted to Lieutenant Colonel and appointed commander of Masaka Mechanized Regiment to replace Colonel Kiza Vesije. In 1995, he was sent to West Nile to fight General Ali Bamuze's West Nile Rescue Front. In 1996, he was promoted to Colonel and given additional responsibilities in the Gulu based 4th Division. In 1998, Kazini was deployed in Kasese to fight the ADF rebels. In 1999, he was promoted to brigadier, appointed chief of staff and commander of safe haven operation in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 2000, he was recalled from the Congo. In 2001, a UN report accused him of plundering resources from the DR Congo. In December 2003, he was taken to the court martial over embezzlement of funds. It's in the same year that he was relieved of his job on accusations of creating ghost soldiers on the army payroll. In 2009, he lost an appeal in the Constitutional Court to have him tried by civil court instead of a court martial. Major General James Kazini died at 52. Imam Taizibwa, NTV Tonight.